I'm going to be doing something really simple. It's just going to be making like just a simple square. I'm going to turn the square into a bow tie for Bentley. So I'll try to insert a picture of what it should look like when it's done. I found it on Pinterest. It seems pretty simple and like I should be able to do it. So let's hope so. But today I am going to be using this like bright blue turquoise color yarn. So it's perfect for like spring and Easter time, that's why I got it for. So first you're going to want to loop it like I am in this where you're going under and then circling back around. And you're just going to continue that and do as many as you want. I think I did about 10 to 12 for this for the bow tie size. So you're just going to make sure that you keep count as you go along with it. going to bring your other needle in and you're going to put it through the back of your needle and then out and around and this pattern is you knit one and then you purl one so when you're doing the purl you're doing it on the front side of your needle rather than the back side like you normally would. So after you complete your first row, you're going to start to purl, and so this is just instead of doing it, your needle in the back, you're going to have it in the front to create this sort of pattern. While knitting this, be sure to keep in mind the size of dog that you're going to be knitting it for since Bentley is a smaller size puppy. This is going to end up being about four and a half inches long. So this is where you start to end it and bind it off. 
So you're going to make sure that you have two on there at all times and you're just going to kind of go under and connect them and you want to make sure that you end up with just one on the end of your needle at the very end and you're just going to pull that through to secure it. So I'm just going to trim the edges up and then get started on the connecting piece that we will need later on for when we need it to, for the collar. This will be a lot quicker since it's just the connecting piece, so you will not need as many rows as you would normally use. I'm just going to thread my yarn onto the needle and then I'm going to start at the top and just go ahead and sew some on there to make sure that it is sturdy and you're just going to want to do that a few times and then you are going to work your way down the bow tie and you want to make sure that you catch quite a few of the pieces and then you are going to continue on the bottom of sewing it to make sure that it is all connected. And then with the string that is still attached, you are going to do it again and just repeat the same steps where you sew it on the top for a few and then you're just going to catch some of the yarn going down and then finish at the bottom so that way it will be very sturdy.